It is 31 degrees. So I'm gonna call this cold therapy. I am outside without my coat on. I had a very interesting conversation. Uh, I drive, it's just a new job, uh, where I drive three Amish children to school. And pick them up after school and take them home. So it fits in really well with me homeschooling my daughter and being a stay-at-home mom. It's, it's kind of fun and they're cute kids. So it's, it's a really sweet little gig. But I was talking to the mom today and she said that when she was a kid and the kids now that ride in the cold in the winter to school in their buggies do not get sick. And I thought that was really interesting and it goes along with cold therapy, right? That there's something protective about being outside. There are cultures, I think like Sweden or some of these like Northern European cultures where they will like put their kid, their babies in buggies and leave them outside of the coffee shop while they go inside and have a coffee. And it's good for the babies to be outside and be cold. I don't like it, <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. So I am gonna try and do more grounding even when it's cold. So I'm out here right now filming this. So I was gonna let you guys know that my heart has been doing something, I don't know what, uh, since August. Sometimes it feels like at the top of the um, roller coaster where you hit zero G and your heart kind of, whoo, uh, you get it in the car sometimes. So my heart's been doing that frequently and sometimes kind of hurting. So I decided finally, I went to the doctor today and he had me do an EKG and uh, a 24 hour, a 48 hour Holter Holter monitor thing. So um, I will have some results eventually after I turn it in on Wednesday and then give the doctor time to look at it and get back to me. So, <clears throat> so probably next week I will have some new information. And I did switch doctors. I am going to fire my <laughs> endocrinologist because she won't run tests that I want. I want to see labs on. She would not run a test to see what my thyroid antibodies are. If I'm attacking my thyroid more or less, that information matters to me, but she it doesn't matter to her and how she treats me, so she doesn't care. This doctor is a OD in Mount Vernon, where near where I live, and so I'm super excited, and he's willing to do all kinds of tests. Ooh, this cold therapy is working. So I have a new doctor, and he's gonna be my, my family practice doctor, as well as uh, monitor my thyroid condition. So uh, I'm excited about that change and we're going to get the heart monitored and I just thought that cold therapy thing was interesting. Okay, so I was talking to this uh, new nurse at my new doctor's. I was telling her I was on carnivore. She's recently lost a hundred pounds and um, I mean, that's a lot, that's a lot of weight. And I'm like, so what are you eating? How are you doing this? Um, and she said it was just super, super stressed from being in a horrible relationship. Um, and that she's taking a shot, uh, some kind of weight loss shot. But her doctor thinks that she needs to slow it down and kind of maintain right now, because she's 5'9 and doesn't want to get too thin. So I was just chatting about carnivore and how I'm losing weight and I, I, I don't even remember why I said it. Oh, because I was telling her that my mom died of cancer and I don't want to die of cancer. And because cancer eats sugar, I never want to eat sugar again. And she was like, hmm, I think there is a reason that we met today. So maybe I have accidentally uh, influenced somebody for good. I told her to go watch Dr. Ken Berry. That's who I send everyone new to because he is the best at just breaking down the details into short, entertaining videos. And I love his accent. All right. Thank you for watching that video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See you later.